Today's a really interesting day. Uh, this is my first day back on the course for a little bit now, probably about a week and a half. And uh, over the past two and a half weeks, I've been getting some lessons, two, three weeks. So I've learned how to hit my driver a little bit better. Uh, I've also learned negative shaft lean so that your, uh, your iron strikes can be more consistent. Um, all of that has wreaked havoc on a uh, little bit, at least, on my uh, scoring. Um, even though I feel like I'm hitting it a lot better, I'm not scoring any better. It's been really weird. Uh, but that also gave me, has given me a lot of hope because if you're hitting it better and not scoring any better, then that basically means that you got that change for free. And knowing that I'm not consistent with the new change, just wait until I get consistent. So the big changes with the driver are I'm now using a strong grip so that you can see two of your knuckles on the left hand there on the, as at the front of the club as you're lining up. I'm trying to line it up about at the big toe, a little to the left, like to the forward side of the big toe a little bit. And I'm also trying to uh, swing slightly more horizontal on a flatter swing plane. You're seeing my drives now on uh, this weekend's round, and uh, that very first one was popped up. And what I learned from that is that my instructor was correct, and you got to tee it down a little bit. It can't be teed up nearly so high as I had it. But each hole here, you're going to see drives on four separate holes, shows basically the same story. That first one was a pretty decent pole draw and then piped it down the middle. And here we're going to see more of the same. I used to slice my driver, but now I think my miss is to the left. Looks like this one went off to the right, but it was actually basically piped straight down the middle. The distance on my drives has been pretty good lately. I've got uh, the first three holes here where hole number four had a 278 yard drive. Hole number five was 273. And then hole nine, that last one you just saw was 280. My drives used to go 240 yards and then I figured out how to push them 260. Now they're going 280, at least when they go straight. So let's talk about my irons, shall we? This one is a seven iron in, and you're gonna see this guy pull hard. That's become the typical with my irons. I've learned not to really trust anything that's not my driver, but interestingly, this is the best I've hit a hybrid in as long as I can remember. Look at that, that thing just soared. Big old fist pump, I got excited with that. Usually I can't, my hybrids are not reliable, but that's the day they were. Unfortunately, as you see with this chunk and with this one, between that and my, uh, my poles and pole hooks, my irons just aren't quite what they used to be. Here you're gonna see a beautiful about 80 yard shot into the green and these shorter wedges have been great but not always oh come back this one's oh. got three in a row on hole eight that one was too oh. far this I'll one was a slight push one, the next one here about 15 yards short but what you're really going to see is the epitome of my iron play and you saw that 280 yard drive on hole number nine but those uh, two strokes in the middle, that's a lie. That seven iron had three pull hooks in a row, followed by an overcorrection of a slice. And that's where we stand right now. My three lessons, one of them was working on that driver, and two of them have been working on my irons. I've been learning a negative shaft lane, where to put that ball in my stance, how to lag my arms, that your hips are supposed to lead the motion, your shoulders follow, and your arms follow that. And I haven't been practicing that necessarily. So I've still got ways to go, but I'm pretty confident it's not my coach and it's not my clubs, it's me. Honestly, 
I'm pretty excited with how things went. I didn't score as great as I wanted to. I was, I'm usually right around 50, and this was a 54 and a 53. Some of my highest scores yet there. But even so, when I do strike it, I generally strike it pretty well. And my swing has definitely gotten better. It's just not quite showing the consistency that we need yet. Once I figure out this pull in my irons, stuff's going to get a lot better. And I don't think that's going to take too long. Thanks for taking the time to check in on my game. I hope yours has been improving too. And I look forward to sharing with you the improvements that we make. We'll catch you next time.